Welcome back to The Sims 4 Reality House. This is episode two of this series, so if you haven't caught the first episode, make sure you check that out because it explains the rules. I'll link that in the description down below. But today, we're gonna carry on with our journey in this reality show, Sims 4 Let's Play, and we're gonna be following all of our contestants to see who is going to be eliminated today. Just like last time, today we're gonna be doing one skill-based activity to see who is going to be sent home, but today's elimination is gonna have a little bit of a twist. At the end of this hallway, I built a room specifically for our end of the day ceremony. And for today's elimination, instead of automatically getting rid of the person who loses, we are going to take the bottom three and send them here. Once they're here, we're going to go into our Sims relationships and see how they've evolved within the house. Whoever has the most amount of relationship points out of the bottom three is going to stay and whoever has the least is going home. That means any of the relationships that our Sims are gaining definitely have an impact on the game. At the end of the last episode, Episode, we know that Rosa won, so she is entitled to using the winner's bedroom, but she actually isn't even using it. She is getting a leg up on the competition, coming out here and dancing through the hours of the night with Alicia. That could be an advantage, getting a leg up on the competition, but our other competitors are getting a really good sleep, and honestly, that's probably going to help them in the long run. Okay, yeah, Alicia's going to bed. Good, good, good. I think everyone should be sleeping. Rosa <laughs> took the wrong bed, so I'm gonna send her into her winner's winner's bed, which by the way, if you do get to stay in the winner's bedroom, you will benefit from the stats of the bed. Super stress relieving, really, really comfortable, and our sims are gonna get a great rest in here. So I need to make sure that Rosa goes in there. I'm not meant to control them at all, but I do want to make sure the winners get to use their benefit. So it looks like all of our contestants are sleeping peacefully. It would be really awful if we had a wake up call. I'm gonna place a speaker in here and start playing it. All of our sims are gonna get so annoyed. Nigel, trash boy Nigel is awake. He, he's on to me. He knew we were about to shake things up a little bit. Speaker in here. I'm gonna do another speaker on this side, nice and close to our contestants' bed. And then we're just going to turn them on. Let's listen to like metal. <laughs> oh, metal, it's even in caps. All right, let the games begin. All of our sims are getting out of bed. <laughs> Alicia started jamming. Some contestants aren't so happy about it. I'm pretty sure I saw Grayson like kind of walking along like a little bit annoyed. Sorry. Early in the morning, our contestants are just chilling. Nigel and Harper were having a nice little conversation and Rosa and Rain are quietly just enjoying their popcorn. While our sims are just chilling, I'm gonna introduce you guys to competition number two. So down in our hallway of activities, I told you guys that each door is going to open up a different activity. So today we are going to be doing a yoga competition. <laughs> we're gonna hire an instructor. Our sims are gonna come down here and test their skills and their balance. And we're gonna be judging them again based on how much wellness skill points they can gain. I don't know how long a yoga session is. I've never actually hired an instructor, but we'll find out. Harper was a fan favorite down here. She was the one who came in and started cooking immediately. She also was the one who just cleaned up the dishes after everyone. She's very like caring for others. She's always trying to take care of the other contestants, which is great. Also on the wall of our departed, I have added our selfie of Annie. Unfortunately, she was the first one to go home so her picture has been added onto this wall. And last time I checked on Rosa, she was taking a bath in her fancy $12,000 bathtub. This is what I would be doing if I had this winter suite. Upstairs, Rain is dancing it up with a Grayson in here, our couple that we were kind of shipping from last episode. I kind of want to interview someone over at our interview area, but I don't want to get in the way of the relationship that they are building. Oh yes, Rain, get it? Let's pick Rosa, actually. While you're here, Rosa, have a seat. Wait, is she sick? Oh no, she has an illness. <gasps> Rosa, no, are you contagious? Oh no, uh-oh. We definitely have to interview her. I'm gonna need you to sit. How did she get that? Miss Rosa, oh, she needs medication. I'm gonna go behind the camera, just like pretend that I'm the one here. <laughs> Rosa, how are you feeling about having the winner's bedroom? She's like, I think we have bed bugs. I see you've contracted some kind of illness. Are you gonna be okay to go on? Literally, what happened? Is she gonna be okay? <laughs> how do you feel about Annie leaving? Oh my God. 
God, I hope she doesn't have to leave. We need a medic. Medic! Medic! It says we only have about 50 minutes left of her illness, so hopefully whatever it is goes away on its own within that time and she's okay. Otherwise, Rosa, who we all thought is going to do really, really well in this competition, might have to leave. I hope she's not contagious because this is gonna be really bad if everyone catches this. Oh, poor thing though. She looks so uncomfortable, whatever that is. Thank God she's out here by the fountain. We've got our bartender here, but she just vibing. A lot of you guys picked Nigel as your fave. I'm also on team Nigel. I feel like he's always just doing like whatever he wants. He doesn't care if anyone is judging him. Like look at this bartender just watching him cloud gaze by himself on the patio. I think it's time that we go downstairs and do our skill-based competition and see who's going to be in the top and who's going to be in the bottom tonight. So we're going to get everyone to come down here and I think this time I'm going to reveal the information of who's going to be in the top and who's going to be in the bottom right after the competition. I gotta hire our yoga instructor. Gonna get everyone to go and stand right in front of their Matt. Here they come. Let's see how we're feeling today. Nigel feels ready. The girls are okay. Alicia is still in her PJs. The same with Rain. I think a lot of our contestants maybe haven't showered today and some of them clearly have to pee, which is not good. I mean, I guess we have to wait for the instructor, don't we? Where is the instructor? Some of our contestants are using our instructor's lateness to go to the bathroom, which honestly is a pretty smart move. Rain's going to use the bush. I think I see our instructor way down there. Kyle Wolf? Yes, our yoga instructor is here, this guy. <laughs> Look at him coming up. Oh, I'm so ready for this. Let's go. No, Nigel, no, no. He's literally on his way to the dumpster again. Look how happy he is about it too. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna go get the nap of my life. No, you're not. No, you're not. Do they have a difference, really? Let's do energy centering. We all need that heading into 2022, right? Okay, we're getting Harper to ask if the yoga class can start. I've had a hard time getting everyone in here, so I just locked the door. Everybody in position. Are we ready to start? Holding you look a little lost there, bud. As I'm trying to get this going here, we've got Rain and Grayson having their first hug. This is the first time they've ever kind of had any kind of interaction like that. Oh, finally. Okay, we are starting the yoga class. Everyone is uncomfortable, so... Oh, Nigel! Oh my god. Okay, who's falling over? Everyone's uncomfortable right now. They have been tested. It's been a long day. A lot of them stink. Honestly, I locked them in here for quite some time, so I mean, at least they're all on an equal playing field now. They're all feeling like crap. Oh my god, and this illness is contagious because freaking Rain is sick. Rain, get off your phone. Rain has fallen asleep again and freaking Nigel just farted on her. Oh my god. Okay, Rain, I don't know what Nigel and Alicia are doing, but they just ditched the class and now they're just talking to each other. Can you guys practice, please? Some of our contestants are really not focusing on the task at hand here. Our freaking instructor is Bendy McBender over there. Some of them are gaining a little bit more out of this than others. We've got Holden who is so peaceful he has fallen asleep. Oh my god. We also have Grayson down. Oh boy, this is bad. I think Nigel's about to pee himself. No, not on the mat. Get off the mat. Get off the mat. Oh god, this is bad. <laughs> have a bladder fail on a lot with more than five toilets. Wow. This is horrible. <laughs> Nigel made it so disgusting and Ray is cleaning it up. This is so funny. Okay, the yoga class is done. I think Nigel peeing might have brought it to an end. <laughs> so I'm gonna unlock the door. I'm gonna allow them to leave now. Thank you, Kyle, for this traumatizing event that we put you through. I'm gonna press pause. I'm gonna count everything up, see who's gonna be in the top three and the bottom three. And thankfully, that is not going to be the only dictator of who's going home because that was a hot mess. Keep in mind also that the only skill I'm going to be checking here is the wellness skill. I also want to point out that the only one not feeling absolutely terrible is Rosa, likely because of her winter suite. So whoever gets this again has a big advantage. I think I'm gonna allow them all to get a good night's sleep and then in the morning I will tell them who is in the top and who is in the bottom. That means the winner's bedroom is going to remain empty. Some of our sims are sleeping, some of our players are going and taking a shower which they definitely need. Honestly day two and they are not doing so good. There is definitely an outbreak of some kind of illness going around as well. Honestly everyone's getting it. Harper is the third one to get this illness. I feel so bad. Yeah tomorrow I think they've deserved a day to just kind of hang out. This place is a disaster. Here's what we could do. We could do a pool day today, allow them to kind of just chill, no activity. And then at the end of the day, tomorrow, we will do the ceremony. <laughs> 
So in the top three, gaining the most skill points for the wellness skill for the yoga competition are Grayson, who I'm pretty sure was in the bottom last time, Rosa, again, who was our winner of the last round, and Holden, who I think is actually going to be really good in this competition. He's been kind of flying under the radar a little bit, but I think he's going to be a really good competitor, although he hasn't slept today. In the bottom, we have Mr. Trash Boy Nigel, our vacation core queen Alicia, and our sleepy devil core sim Rain. I'm getting to the point where I'm so attached to these characters that I like don't want anyone to go home. If they were smart, they would get up and start talking to some people. In the first episode, Alicia and Harper had a pretty good relationship going. She's also here right now talking to Holden, so I mean, he could be helping her get ahead. Rain has been talking a lot with Grayson, so I don't know if maybe they've been talking enough for her relationship points to be up there. And Nigel, Nigel is kind of friends with everybody. He's been kind of like chatting it up with everyone in the house, making friendships with everyone. He's not really in a clique or anything. Harper's out here swimming away, hopefully. Um, she doesn't drown. She's gonna get that fitness skill up there so freaking fast. She's literally out here doing laps. That actually makes a lot of sense too because she's the only safe one in this scenario. The winner of our yoga competition is Holden with 115 points. So Holden tonight is going to be at the one with the winner's bedroom. Grayson is sleeping in the hot tub and Rain is on her way in to join him probably. She also wants to wahoo in a bush. She just had a little whim. Look at these cuties. Poor Nigel is the next one in the house to get this weird illness that's going around. Maybe it's in the popcorn because they were not eating all this popcorn last time. I think everyone should gather around. We should do the water balloon fight. I want to see a Brawl. I think this bartender might be in the crossfire. Over here, we've got a little bit of taunting going on. I made sure that everyone is participating to make sure that it was fair. Run. Oh, Harper with the freaking bullseye right on Grayson's face. Oh my god, we might make some enemies here. <laughs> Harper is going straight for the face. She's playing dirty a little bit. Holy just wiped right out. He's feeling uncomfortable now. You can actually make some uncomfortable moodless. Rain is the only one still going because she's feeling great. She's an evil sim, so she is feeling fantastic from all of these sims dealing with the pain. Our contestants seem to be vibing today. Everyone's outside enjoying the nice weather. I think it's time that we break this up and we start our ceremony. I'm gonna get everyone to come and gather down below. I'm gonna close the door on them again to make sure no one can freaking leave. The bottom three are all gonna stand on these pedestals and to get them on there, I have to get them to change into a costume. So up they go. Our contestants literally do not care about the podiums that I set up for them. So I'm just gonna reveal who is going to be leaving. So we know again that in the bottom, we've got Miss Rain, we have Alicia, and we also have Trash Boy Nigel. I'm gonna break down how I'm doing this. So first thing I did was go to check out and see what relationships we're working with. Under the friends tab, Alicia and Nigel actually gained a friendship on their own. So they both have one friend each under the friend tab, and they're both equal in the relationship, it's exactly the same percentage there. Rain actually still has her friendship with Annie, our eliminated sim from last round. Their friendship is strong enough to keep Rain in the competition. So all of them have made an equal friend in that aspect. That means I'm gonna go in and check out the rest of their relationships and see how far they've advanced. Looking at Alicia's friendships, she's very close to getting a friendship with Holden and shortly behind is Harper. Rain is very close to gaining an official friendship with Grayson and she also started a looks like a hate relationship with Cameron. So there's a little bit of drama there but she does have that one extra sim that she's introduced herself to and Grayson is very close to becoming her official friend. Nigel. Nigel has Alicia but he doesn't really have any friendships lined up behind that. In my opinion it looks kind of like and I'm looking very closely at these to make sure they're fair. I'm pretty sure based on these relationships trash boy Nigel is going to be the one going home. I'm sorry, Nigel. Your time here is over. You can go home to your bed. You no longer have to sleep in a dumpster. <laughs> I'm gonna unlock the door for them. We're gonna go take that selfie. He's sick anyway. Like, we need to start eliminating the sick people. Gosh, with the rash and everything, this is just such an awful way to leave. Maybe it, he started it, honestly. Maybe he's the source of the problem. Sleeping in the freaking dumpster. I mean, you're taking it the wrong way, but it's fine. I, I really don't think you should remain here any longer. We're gonna go 
go ahead and add trash boy Nigel to the wall. I'm gonna size up his picture right beside Annie. Oh, this is so sad. And that means, Nigel, it's time for you to leave. You provided us, honestly, with a lot of joy, a lot of laughter. You are super kind, nice to everybody. He's so sad. Maybe Del Sol Valley isn't cut out for you, but maybe you'll find a really nice, fulfilling life in Evergreen Harbor. Everyone appears to be sleeping. I hope they get a good sleep for the next one, and I definitely need to hire a maid. I appreciate you guys leaving all the positive comments and the feedback in the comments of the last video, so please do that again if you have any comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see when the next episode is going to be out, which is likely going to be on Sunday. That's all I got for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.